Hey guys, it's Jared here today. I'm gonna to review, talk more about, um, Inky Overdrive the movie three: Revenge of Inky Drive. Um, I'm gonna do some more updates, and um, I'm pretty, and I'm also gonna do my top ten a favorite Inky Overdrive cars, plus Inky Drive, cause so, since I have nineteen total, on my, I have the entire collection. As you know from the last video, um, Digital Dreams Dream Labs have um, have bought the company and are probably working on Inky Overdrive and Cosmo right now. So they're probably working on new updates and possibly there's probably going to be new commanders. I think maybe new cars, new commanders, new updates. Maybe the older ones can come back. I don't know, but. So, we're going to talk about the, the um, new movie of, of the new movie called Revenge of Angie Drive. So, as you can see, it brought Spetrix, which is from Angie Drive. Um, possibly, I don't have enough screws for all these, for all of them. So, I just took one from Korai because Nuke is connecting again. Nuke is connecting again, so... Korai, I'm not, I took the screw off, so it might keep falling off a couple times if I lift them up. So I might squeeze the sides, but if I don't, the um the robot's gonna come off. So I better be careful. So the goal is for me to try to keep the robot inside of um Korai's body, cause so then he could like be probably be part of the movie. So he looks. See, he could still be part of it. See, it looks like he has a screw. So we're gonna grab every single Inky Drive command car. So we're gonna. So this is. I said it was called Revenge of Inky Drive. I I thought it was gonna be called Hog Wheel. I decided to make it called be called Inky Drive Battle Force Five. Then I wanted to make it be called Revenge of Inky Drive because you know Inky Drive has not been a rather late recently at least since. In my rounds in the movies, so they're gonna take revenge and try to take the win. But so there might be some Easter eggs around. I'm I'm gonna try my best to add as many Easter eggs, like about like the fourth one because there's a fourth one coming soon. The fourth movie is coming soon as well, but I'm not gonna tell talk to you about the fourth one because it's it's not even close to the time. That I'm going to talk about the um fourth one. It's gonna come out probably like two or three years. So next year, this is when the third one, the Revenge of Angie Drive, is gonna be released. The real the leader of the entire Angie Drive army is Spetrix. So I decided to let Spetrix take over Angie Overdrive, Angie Drive. So um, I'm gonna put it in, put them in order from like. So here is his army. Quarks is probably like. Spetrix is assistant. So I might I'm gonna back up the cars for a second. So here's what I wanna give you some like like information about what's gonna happen in the movie. So in the movie, in the new movie coming out next summer, like probably in six months or seven or eight months, it's a couple months away for being released. Seventeen parts, as you all know. Each Angel of Death movie contains like five minutes and it contains 17 parts. So, um, and the reason why I call it the re, um, Revenge of Anki Drive is because they're going to, these cars, these seven cars, are going to take revenge on Anki Overdrive because they have not been in much races. I'm going to try and see if they can win in a lot of rounds. So, like, near the end, there's going to be like the battles between all these seven cars and against seven other cars. I'll have to think about who should like who should reverse these for seven cars. It's gonna be like a one v one in the and like near the finals. So like after part so part ten, the part ten, part eleven, part twelve, part thirteen, part fourteen, part part six fifteen, part sixteen. So the battle is gonna start in part ten. Part ten will be versus Boson. Part eleven will be versus Korai. Part 12 will be versus Row. Part 13 will be versus Katal. Um, part Part 14 will be versus Hadian. Part 
16, wait, part 15, wait, part 14 will be versus heading on, part 14 will be, uh, part, <laughs> part 15 will be versus Korax, and part 15, 16 will be versus Spetrix. So because he since he's the leader, I'm going to let him take it over, but I'm not going to talk about like the Anki overdraft cards that I'm going to be in it. So I'm going to put them back on the charger, and now we're going to go through the top 10 Anki drive, Anki overdrive cars. It's like my top 10 favorites of all time, like throughout the game, or throughout the entire series. So we're going to make sure, I'm going to try to see if we can put them on the charger. So we're going to, so we're going to keep it out. So we're going to start with 10th place. 10th place, I'm going to say should be Nuke. Um, it's not because of the design, it's because of how strong he is and fast. Um, Nuke is kind of like one of the like 10th place because of how fast he is compared to um, the other cars, and he's kind of strong too. Even though he has a short range weapon where he has to get close to a car and shoot. Um, a lot of cars have like short range weapons, like, like the default one, like the first weapon that is equipped before you start buying the original weapons for these cars. Like, in the app, it starts off with a stupid weapon that I really don't like. Um, but I like the other weapons that the original weapons that these cars go with. So I'm going to try to see if I can get their, get their weapons back and try to um, do that. So, like, if you want to have their original weapons, go... Um, before you start around, you click Balance Cars. Tap Balance Cars, then it'll be like the same level. Even the trucks, they'll use here. They're like rare end weapons. Like for Freewheel, like when you don't balance the cars, Freewheel only uses his Neutron Way, Ray, Neutron Blast, and the other weapon. So, and then when you click Balance Cars, um, the commander will start using the gravity trap for free wheel. Same goes for X-52s. If you click bounce cars, they will start using Smasher, Boomer, and Shredder. But if you don't, it will just they will just do the pause ramp. So they'll also use rage mode. So tenth place is nuke because of how fast he is and strong. Coming in ninth place, I gotta say it's gotta be NXT. Um, he's kind of fast, but. But since it's because of his Sarasky missiles, it's kind of hard to shoot. Sometimes, like, the cool part about long-range weapons is that when you're in the distance and you're near a collision kit, or, like, far away from a car and you want to turn, and, you're, and you turn and you fire away and there's another car, um, you, you disable it. Like, for example, if MXC is coming this way, and there's another car, for example, Big Bang's coming the other way, and they're about to turn around to the collision kit. He fires, and then Big Bang gets disabled. Sometimes that happens. So I'm going to put in 10, um, 10th place at least. Just because of how, like, good he does. Um, I'm going to say that coming in 8th place, it's got to be Korax. Um, he has a good weapon called the um, Pulse Cannon. Ah, the cannon pulse or something. Oh, I forget how you say it. Okay, I think it's said he has this cannon, like pulse cannon or something. Pew, 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 pew. And for his rare end weapon, he has a time charge. Um, so that's eighth place. So I got kind of like Corex. Coming in seventh place. I'm going to say is Skull. Because of how like, fast he is. He's kind of fast and strong. He's a fast guy, but he's but sometimes he dies pretty fast. He tries pretty fast. That's why I'm trying to put score on the charger as long as possible to get him ready for if he if I ever want him to join the next round. And then coming in sixth place, I'm gonna say is ground shock. Um, because even though he could have been, he's in like sixth place. I could have put him in the top five, but. He didn't make it. He is close. He's kind of close, but because since of, he's kind of fast, but sometimes it's kind of hard to control him. I think 
Well, I think it's not hard to control, but the cars are easy to control. But it's, I kind of like him. I'll just put place him in sixth place. And there's not that much to talk about him in sixth place. Coming in fifth place. He dies out quickly, too. Coming in fifth place, we got Gaudi. He's, he's really fast. He got a, he's got a good special weapon called the Scramble Mine. When you place a bomb, Scramble Mine. And then when he detonates, the car gets scrambled. So he, he look at the designs of this guy. Oh no! No, oh no! Guardian! Oh, he landed in the bin. There he is. So Guardian's in fifth place. I'm coming in uh, fourth place. I'm going to say is Big Bang. He's a strong guy. He's like one of the strong cars, I'm going to say. Um... He, even though he's kind of slow, but he's really powerful. Sometimes he can come in third place or second place. Um, he's going to be part of, in fourth place and in my top ten. In third place. You know, it's not Ice Charger. Instead of Ice Charger, I'm not going to put um, It's going to be X-52. We're going to say it's X-52. I just want to know. You, you all know where my first place is, so... So X-52 is my third place. Look at how big he is. Like, he's really big. He is a strong guy. He uses his paw spam. He uses his paw spam a lot. Like, boom. Like, he, like, one thing I like about him is that, like, when he uses his paw spam on cars. So I'm going to grab ground check, for example. Like, when he, when he, when he uses his paw spam, the car pull, pull gets pulled back and then gets pushed off the track. <laughs> Well, X-52Ys is kind of the same as X-52, so they're both in third place. Since X-52Ys is the same as the original version, X-52Ys is in third place, too. And coming in second place is Ice Charger. He has this awesome boost. If he um, balances this, this like level, he has like a boost. He can use his boost. Even his um, EM, the EMP thing that Dom used in the, in the eighth movie. And then in first place, I should want to know, is my favorite truck, Free Wheel. Because of how, like, it's not because of his, of his design, it's because of how he uses his gravity trap. When somebody tries to pass him, he activates it and it stops them from passing by. I'm going to grab Spetrix. Spetrix, I'm sorry, but he didn't make it to the, um, Top ten, but he's he's in like he's probably like in the top fifteen, but not in like near like the last place. He's not in last. So like, Nuke Phantom is also in tenth place because since he's the same as Nuke, the original version. So when when somebody tried to pass free wheel, he activates it, and then he follows free wheel. So like if you if you turn him, the car will follow him, and then when it when it gets deactivated, the car will start spinning. But for a truck. They don't go crazy. Because since they have a trailer, like, since the trucks have trailers, they don't spin around like cars do. They just, like, they just stop. They start slowing down and then stop. And then they start moving again. So that's why, so then they don't, so they don't stop. Trucks, since trucks, like, and even trucks at the, at the end of the race, so when the race ends, they start slowing down. But cars, they're just like, they just stop. But trucks, since they have trailers and it might be hard for them to brake, they just slow down like this. So, first place is free wheel. Second place, ice charger. Third place are X52 twice and X52. Fourth place, Big Bang. Fifth place is... Fifth place, Guardian. Sixth place, Ground Shock. Seventh place... Seventh place, Corax, I think. Eighth place, Skull. Ninth place... I think Steen and 10th place are Nuke and Nuke Phantom. So, um, please like and subscribe, guys. I'll give you more information about Angel Drive Movie 3 coming soon.